hello guys welcome to our online tutorial classes so today we are going to talk about a, a kahoot kahoot is one of the platforms whereby we can promote the rally, uh, remote learning methodologies so it's one of the platforms that you can use actually it is just like a game platform where you can create a game to involve the learners between the learner and the teacher so the teacher here is the center of everything the teacher will be involved in creating the Yahoo platform and set the equations according to the learners and then post the equation and then the learner will be able to join using a given pin and then they participate in the game. So let's see on how to create a Kahoot. Actually today let us talk on how to create Kahoot using a, 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 an application because it has been a challenge to so many people and so many of you are asking themselves uh, like on the last uh, online uh, uh, seminar that we had about ICT actually it was not so so successful and so many people were asking so many questions so i think creating a kahoot using an app will be the best advice that i can give so it is very simple you just go to the play store using your phone depending on the phone that you have if you have the android phone just go to the play store if you have the iphones uh, there are other special stores where you can go and download the app so in this case let us just go to uh, play store because i have a, an android phone so from the play store uh, i will just type just like any other app when you're looking for any other app i will just type the word kahoot and then after typing the word kahoot i simply search for the app and then you can see the app is there for me i already had it on my phone that's the reason why there is an update that is prompted on my phone but in case you don't have it just click on install and then the kahoot will, the app will be installed in your phone so after that you just go back uh, to the app where it is downloaded uh, just go to the app like in this case it is here so you click on it and uh, open the kahoot app so in such a case um, there are so many ways uh, you can log in using an email you create your own email your own account for actually for it to be successful you need to create your own account as a teacher so let me let's see how to create account so we just come under uh, sign up actually if you don't have an account you just click on sign up and then from sign up uh, you will be taken to another page you'll be directed to another page where you'll be required to feed your information and then after feeding your information as a teacher you create an account and then after that you will be able to log in and create the kahoot game so there we are so there is sign up for, uh, with your email so you, you enter your email address and uh, the the password that you may be you will not forget so anytime you are you'll be logging in you think that you see you use the email that you have and the password that you you, you create and then you click on sign in uh, sign up and then after that everything you will be directed to your account whereby now you can create a kahoot game but in such a case because i already had an account there is no need of signing up so i will just come and click on login so from the login i will be given the uh, platform where i sign in using my email address actually and the password that i uh, i say uh, I, I chose before so here we'll just come and type my email address so uh, first I'll just then I'll, I'll type my password and then I log in. And actually now you can uh, be able to see that uh, I've been directed to another page whereby now I can create a, a Kahoot game. Now in this case, uh, once you are in, you will be directed to a page that looks like the one that is on the screen. So at the bottom here, there are some uh, menus or icons that you can see there is home. I think all of us you know about home. And then we have what we call discover. Discover, these are pre-created games that you can use to display to your class. Like in this case, you can see the history of Lantern festivals, uh, goodness of the week. So those ones are pre-created uh, uh, Kahoot questions or games that you can involve your learners in. Like you can see what is what is the biodiversity test to your biodiversity IQ and all those ones. So those ones, uh, maths probability. So those are pre-created games by the developers so that you can use directly to display to your learners in case they are relevant to what you are going to teach. And then you have what you call enter pin now. This enter pin is where now the learners will log in. If they have the gadgets, 
that can carry the app, then for them they will come and click on enter pin. But if not, I'm going to show you a short while on how maybe the students will be logging in. Then we have what to call the create. Create now will give you a chance to create a Kahoot games, uh, the questions that you, are, you, you want to give to your learners. And then we have what to call the library. The library here now will contain the, all the Kahoot games and questions that you have created before so that you can go back and even revisit them and then repost them to learners so that they can maybe do revision. Like if I click on my library right now, you'll be able to see that there is one that uh, was set here, SST, four days, some four days ago. So it is there in my library. So I can come back every time that I want and then maybe post it to learners again as a revision. So all said and done, uh, I think let us see on how to create uh, a Kahoot. Otherwise, remember this is, is an ICT info WhatsApp platform. Now, let us continue. So in this case, I come and click on create. Then from create, there is this what we call tab to add a cover image. Cover image is just like a cover page of a maybe a certain document, which of course I'm not going to do right away. So we come to title. What is the title of your what you are what are you teaching so in this case let us let us assume that we are teaching sst uh, sst and then after that description enter description it is sst which topic maybe you can describe on how you are going to do it you, you can give any description depending on what you are going to teach like in this my case i will say grade four grade 4 then from there visible how do we want it to be visible we have two, two options of visible we have only me and everyone but in such a case we want the learners also to participate so it will be a crime if we say only me so let's say for everyone and then after that you've already created the title the description the visibility and all that so the what next is just to click and add a question here add a question so the question uh, we have you can search maybe a question if maybe you, there is an occasion where you can look for a question you can search but in this case we just come and choose the knowledge what are, which, which knowledge are we testing there is quiz where you, you have four options and then we have true or false and then we have puzzle type answer and all that and remember the kahoot site that you are using is the free one that is what, this is what we call the premium one the premium one is you have to use it then you will have to pay some fee for other features to be unlocked for you but in this case you can realize that ours, our our free online mode some features have been locked like the puzzle type answer quiz audio all those ones are locked and we cannot use them we only have two options the quiz and the true or false so let's say that maybe you want to use the quiz for the first one let's start with you are going we, we are going only to create two questions for uh, for this training so we come and click on quiz then from quiz you will be asked to tap to add a question here okay first of all there is a time limit that you can use how long is it going to take to display and allow learners to answer that question that's what we call the timing here so you can come and click on it depending on the question we have five seconds ten seconds twenty seconds and all that depending on the technicality of the question you can choose the appropriate time that you want your learners to take before another question is displayed so in this our case let us just use the primary one or the the, the one that is uh, there so let's just use the um, let's say 20, 10 minutes and then we say done then after that we come and type the equation then you can say let's say what is the name of our county what is the name of our county of our county what is the name of our county and then i put a question mark uh, and put a question mark here just for just to be, bear with me um, question mark okay uh, the equation is there then after that let me come and add equations now I can I come and add answers you know there's only one answer that is going to be correct the rest should be wrong so I come and click add and then you can say let's say Mombasa and actually it is a wrong one so just click done and then we go to the next one let's say this one is the correct one you write migori then from there there's this tab here where written correct answer so tap it for so that you put this one as the correct answer so you come and click there 
and then this one will be the kind of the correct answer so anytime the learner chooses this color blue then it will be a tick that this is correct because you have made this to be the correct answer by tapping the button here okay it is it was off like this so if you click on it it will be green which means it has been, been made an answer then you click okay you can add others depending on how you want the learners to uh, done then it is remember the, the correct answer should only be one the correct answer should only be one then you click ok so that, one, that, that is the question that is one question that we have already done so you can add another one just come under the plus here to add another question plus and then from plus let's say true or false and then you can say let's say you are talking about uh, animals then you say lion is a domestic animal Lion is a, do a domestic animal let's say imagine this one is a true or false answer lion is a domestic animal then you come and choose the correct answer okay according to according to the normal one the lion is not a domestic animal so true false should be the correct answer so just come and click on false and then say made it correct answer make it to be the correct answer so it will be false and then after that you are done you made it correct one so you are done so you can see we have two questions here we have question one question two up to that point just come and save your work on top here save it so it will be saved as you can see now it is saved so when you want to play it now just come to that question or that uh, particular topic that you created like this one sst just now we just created just now there are two questions as you can see so just come and click on it and then from there you will be prompted to another page where we will be told to, to study or play so in that case we just come and click play remember all the learners now they have their gadgets ready and they are waiting to join the game you have already done that question in the office or maybe somewhere else and then now you are taking it it is not said that you have to be a teacher for you to use kahoot it can be going to use in industries and all that and any questionnaire type of uh, organization so in such a case we want to do what we call there are two options choose the game mode we have to teach and assign challenges so in this case we want to teach so we come and click teach for visual classroom and then uh, we just be patient uh, it is taking too long but we just have to maybe go there then now we have here yeah? so your kahoot is now loading as you can see it has already been loaded okay now we are there so we come to classic one one to one device and then uh, from there we are what you call getting ready to join as you can see and this reality in that it is loading a game pin so that game pin is what will be used by the learners to join and actually as you can see a pin has been generated there we have what you call join at kahoot with the game pin uh, as shown there above so that is the pin that the learners will be using to join now when the, all the learners you know as you can see it is written here waiting for players to join so when all the learners have joined as you can see here there is zero participants but after all the learners have joined you can now click start and then from start the games the, you now display the questions after the questions so after click after all the your, your, your learners have joined you just click on start and then from the start there now you will start displaying the questions one question after another in fact the, those questions will take the time that you, 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 you set during the creation of the game if it is 10 minutes it will only take 10, 10 seconds it will take 10 seconds then another question will be displayed otherwise let's see how the learners now will join yes so let's say that you are a learner and you want to join using the game pin that the teacher has already created so you come and click on enter pin so from enter pin and then you just have to wait for a new page to be launched where you, know, you are now going to be uh, allowed to uh, enter your game, uh, game, game pin. Then after entering your game pin, let's say you just choose any other game randomly, then enter game pin. So from there, this is, this is not the correct pin that I was just trying to show you. So from there, you will be now be prompted to enter a, a, a nickname. Then from nickname, then you will just have to enter to the game and then start the game or you can come directly to uh, uh, Google so from Google uh, if you are a learner maybe you can just come to Google then from Google you just type the word Kahoot 
and then after typing the word Kahoot you search so from there you will just come down and then choose what you call play Kahoot enter game pin here so you just click on that and then from there a new page will be launched to you where you know you can enter a game pin otherwise that's what I wanted to say if you have any comment or any other question you can go you can always be free to post it to the wall so that we can be able to work on it otherwise thank you for today